Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off. Now, we're going to be doing something a little different on this uh, playthrough, but before we get started into that, uh, we're going to kill this guy. He's right over here next to our base. Uh, it's a little bit of lag, you know, because he's here, as well as the fact that he might attack at any moment. So let's go ahead and see if we can destroy him real quick. And we cannot. We're a little too far away. So there we go. Now we can hit this guy. And we might actually get some new pieces off of him. You just never quite know. Now, on this episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be discussing, or at least I'm going to be discussing with you guys. Because I'm very, very curious to find out how you guys uh, feel on this subject. But we're going to be talking about games that are in development and how long they should be in development before, you know, you basically lose interest in them you know like what's the the rate at which they should actually produce that game and does it does it change depending on the type of game that they're coming out with now the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of you lately have been leaving comments below on the videos that I've been doing and basically you've been you've been saying that uh, you know the honeymoon's over you know like you've you've been getting a lot of problems you're kind of tired of the game being broken you know it's a great game uh, before I, you know, I even get into it, really, I just want to let you guys know that I love this game. This game is, you know, freaking awesome. But I do understand where a lot of you are coming from when you say that, uh, you know, you're just tired of the fact that uh, nothing seems to work for you when you're playing the game. And it's true. It, it definitely, uh, you know, before we go back over there, let me let me come back over here and get the uh, solar reactor that I put down, as well as the uh, the wireless charger. Now, um, yeah, my, my mind is split into two different things. I'm trying to think of, you know, what I wanted to say on the subject. Mainly what I was thinking is they need to come up with a classification system that basically says, uh, you know, how long the game thinks that it may be in development. You know, because right now it's really left up to just, just pure chance. Like they say, oh, yeah, it's in development. They say alpha, they say beta, pre-alpha, pre-beta. You know, they, they come up with all these different terms, and you have no idea what any of them mean because every game company thinks they mean something different. And so you as the uh, the consumer, you as the, the player, is kind of left in the dark on, you know, just how long they expect the, uh, you know, the, the development process to be. You know, because some people who get into playing a game, they may not mind playing a game six, seven months before it comes out and just, uh, is that one of my guys? I don't know. I don't think it is. But yeah, they, they may not mind playing a game that's, uh, you know, six or seven months from release uh, or close to that point. But some people may not want to play a game that's three, four, five years away from release. So they do need to get a little bit more, you know, you know, specific on just how long away from release that they are. But one of the things that I've noticed when playing these games is some of them do it on purpose some of them actually come up with these games and they kind of tease you like oh look how good this game is and then they never really release any updates now I'm not talking about this one we happen to be playing this one and I will kind of compare it to this one as well as some of the other uh, in-game uh, in development games that we've played uh, from indies uh, in the past but you know there, there's been some out there that just never release any updates this one on the other hand releases updates all the time like they're constantly making more changes to it but for some of you uh, that's just not enough anymore it's it's been seven eight nine months and you know the game still doesn't work to the uh, full capability that you're, you're hoping it does whereas other games uh, like craft the world was one of those games you could play in development as well and I've been playing that game and many of you guys will will have you know noticed with that game you know they have made some huge improvements but basically they've gotten to the point <clears throat> sorry guys they basically gotten to the point where it's done you know like it is done and they they market it as that so that one has finished this one on the other hand has not finished yet holy crap that guy is big and is he firing at me he's firing at something oh he's firing at the base oh crap he's destroying no no he's destroying a bot wow this is the first time you found an enemy base this is the first time i think i've ever found a bot that actually has a shield on. Let's let's put our reactor down, our uh, solar reactor, and we'll see if we can start charging up because we are taking hits here. So it's going to be a battle of whose shields wear away first, who has more power, who has more uh, batteries, and if I'm constantly regenerating my shields, 
then hopefully I'll survive this when he does not. But look at that guy. Man, he has taken some massive hits there, and he's still surviving that. Jeez, that is crazy. Let's see if we can get through. But, yeah, I hate to keep talking over the <laughs> the weapons because it's, it's pretty... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow that up. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's one of those big ones. I've been waiting to get one of those for a long, long time. Oh, my God, guys. Holy crap. You defeated Tank from Honda Talon. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Holy crap. Check it out, guys. These, these GSO Megaton cannons are supposed to be amazing. Um, oh, crap. Can I, can I turn it? Because I just want to fire it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Did it freeze? Jeez, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to move that somewhere where it can actually fire. Oh man, that's gonna be so sweet. And it's completely taking me off subject. But there was a lot of things I wanted to say and now I'm completely distracted. Whoa, whoa, whoa what is this? What is this? What are these things? What in the world? Venture Ozzy SMGs. I've never seen those things before. Oh, this is cool, guys. Okay, we're going to have to put a pin in that topic, unfortunately. Uh, I might I might try again on the next episode because I really, really wanted to talk about that. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to wanted to say, but uh, how can we not really experiment with, with all this stuff? We're, we're going to have to. And there's an enemy right there. Let's go ahead and destroy him if we can. There we go. I mean, we can, but I was hoping to, to keep some of those tractor pads alive. Let's see. There's another weapon out here. Yeah, we're going to take that weapon. For sure, guys. Wow, it really knocked this stuff just incredibly far away when he blew up. Let's see, we put these on the side. I have no idea what these things do, by the way. No idea. First time I'm ever seeing them in the game. We will experiment with that. Now, I bought, I brought this guy over here mainly for the fact that he had extra space on him. And I was going to pick up the base and take it back with me. But it seems like all my space is going for weapons. So I may end up having to to chunk some of these pieces that uh, you know are are the very common ones you know and I had this nice little rhino up here on the top uh, it's you know just kind of attached if I could pull him off in one piece I definitely would but you can't like you'd have to take him apart piece by piece or take your own bot the one on the bottom apart and the one on the top would fall through which would be easier it definitely would be easier and less pieces to take off but not li really ideal for for what I'm going for now see that, there's no space left none whatsoever so let's come over here and check it out let's see what they have in here just in case they have some stuff we've never seen before uh, not really anything that we do not have I don't want to leave it though what if we do this we're gonna we're gonna take these off it's gonna expose our batteries but you know we can buy these things again they're not very expensive and to be honest, I'd rather have the base pieces than, than these weapons and these blocks up here. So, what do we got going on down here? We are going to take the big pieces first. Put these up here as best as we can. Make sure they fit. I'm going to turn these things around. Actually, can we put them on the side? Yeah, we can put them on the side. Not going to look pretty, but who cares how it looks at the moment. I mean, we can fix that later. Let's see. What else do we got? We got another one here. Can we put that in there as well? Yeah, we can put that in there. What do we got here? Oh, okay, so we got a silo. Those are always nice to have. Kind of. I mean, you know. <laughs> they are what they are. They're, they're okay. They're just not my favorite. So let's put this battery up here. Again, batteries, usually you don't want to have them exposed because, you know, they go boom. And then anything next to it seems to go boom with it. And, yeah, you're going to have a bad day when stuff like that starts happening. So let's put this up here. Uh, we're going to go with the conveyor belt, even though, you know, we, we pretty much have as many as we need. I'm not going to take the receiver with us. We have way, way too many of those. We will take the solar reactor because I do at some point want to uh, to allow my, uh, my base to be surrounded by those. So they're constantly charging. Compact complete base. Uh, it doesn't look like a complete base. No, it's just player tech. Okay, so it was a base because it was attached to it and just hadn't hadn't updated yet. Okay, so we got all of that. Let's go back and pick up our other stuff that we put down, the little thing to uh, charge our, our reactors with. Holy crap, guys. I cannot believe we got the Megaton Cannons. 
That means now we can buy more. We can go back and we can build a bot around the Megaton Cannons. This is going to be epic. This is going to be sweet. And I think what I'll do actually is create a yellow bot kind of like the one I have right here. Just the one row with uh, with the Megaton Cannons and then some of these other uh, Venture. I guess they're Venture, right? Let me look at that. Let me hover over it. It says uh, Venture Ozzy SMGs. Does it give me a description yet? No, the description still is not working for some reason. What is... What's still over here? Because it's saying I have a I have a piece of my base still over here. Did I forget something? Oh, is it referring to that bot still? Ah, I don't care about it. You can get destroyed. Uh, you're, you're free. You don't cost me anything at the moment. So I'm perfectly fine with letting you uh, get wiped out if it goes that route. Now, just remember, even though you pick this stuff up, you, you still want to get it back to your base. Yeah, you can get destroyed and you can rebuild it again. But it's expensive for some of these pieces. The solar reactors, uh, not exactly cheap. The, uh, the G or not the GSO, the uh, payload studio terminals, those are pretty expensive to be honest, guys. So I have like four of them on my bot right now. And if I lost those, that would suck. Also, even if you don't need them, just take them back and sell them because you can get a good bit of money from that. And from that amount alone, uh, you can you know go back and, and build a different kind of bot. The other piece that I would suggest uh, going back and selling as well would be these drills. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, the drills sell for quite a bit of money. The uh, the diamond or yeah, I think it's diamond tipped uh, battering rams. They also sell for quite a bit of money as well. I, I do hope at some point we can get into recycling, but we haven't found that piece. I don't even know if it's in the game anymore. I, I would imagine it probably still is, because there's no reason for him to take it out. But uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be weird because we just haven't gotten one, and they haven't given us one yet. Like I've gone through the list of stuff we have, unless I've completely missed it, you know, several times, which is you know, it's possible. You guys know me. It's possible that I could have missed that, but I don't think it is. I don't think we did. So. Let's come back over here. Let's see what we have, what we can put down, what we want to put down, and what we want to keep on this spot before we decide to uh, build another one. And we have a lot of pieces over here. Unfortunately, not the ones that I really want. There's weapons and stuff, so that might do us pretty good. So let's see. What do we got here? Uh, we are going to expand this base. We're going to go ahead and put down our payload terminal right here. It's kind of exposed on the outside, but it's not going to stay there for long. Let's, uh, let's just attach a lot of this stuff. No, 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 no. I don't want to sell that. What is that, anyways? I think it's just a... Yeah, I think it just sells stuff. Yeah, that's what that one is. Okay, so let's take this one off. We'll put that over here. Let's We can attach it. There we go. Now, we will at some point have to come back around here and rearrange this stuff. Now that we have a decent amount of materials to work with, uh, well, there's definitely a lot of options. A lot of things we can do with that base, so I'm kind of looking forward to that aspect. And we'll probably do that here in a few episodes, but until we get to that point, I'm just having fun playing with the different, uh, you know, things we can do on here. So let's see. This thing is actually kind of cool. It's the very first time we've uh, put this down in this playthrough right now. And you can put a weapon on top or blocks, and it will spin around and attack any enemies that come by. So kind of like a guard tower in that sense but uh... you, you can really go all out and you can build a bot that sits right on top that just spins around and annihilates everything so in that sense it's, it's really really cool okay, so that's charging up right there we're gonna leave this on so that we at least have one of those we're gonna take some of these bubbles off because i don't need this many on here let's see can we put them on this guy over here for now yeah let's put that right there if i can I wish the little bubbles would disappear so I can see a little bit better, but again, that's one of those little little quirks they haven't quite fixed yet, and uh, when they do, it's going to be so much better for, for all of us. So let's put a battery there so he can be charged up. He's actually being charged up through my bot. You can see it right there. It's, it's charging him up. I guess I got a, a charger in there, a wireless charger. Yeah, I must. I must have a wireless charger in there. So I'm getting charged up, and then I'm charging somebody else up. So it's kind of negating everything I'm doing here. So I'll back up here in a minute. But let's put the rest of this stuff down. Okay, that's good. I think that's that's actually fantastic right there. Okay, so everything's good. Let's go into our payload terminal, and we're going to buy 
if it will let us. I think it kind of froze on us there a little second. Some of you guys were actually complaining that you're getting quite a bit of lag too, guys. Uh, you know, it's a combination of your computer not being state-of-the-art, and even if your computer is state-of-the-art, you might reach that limit of what the game is calibrated for right now. Like, Minecraft is a game that I compare it to quite a bit, because Minecraft has to render a lot of blocks, a lot of objects. Uh, you know, the further down you go, the more it has to render. The further out you go, the more it has to render. A GSO Gruntle Guard AI, an essential component to being able to assign specific roles for techs in the fleet. What is that? That doesn't look like the AI I've had before. Did they change the illusion? Let's let's buy that, just in case. That does not look familiar. We got a, a, a fuel tank. When did we get a fuel tank? I don't remember ever picking up one. Maybe we got that as just uh, part of... I don't think we did, though. As part of uh, leveling up, but maybe I just missed that one. Let's see, what else do we got over here? A four-pack silo? I don't think I've discovered that either. When did we get these pieces? I'm going to have to go back and see if they did an update. I guess they must have. So if we got all the way down to the bottom, did I miss the, uh, the cab? I must have, because it has to be in here. Let's scroll down again and see if we can find it. I think what it happened is it actually started me halfway through the list, and I just kept scrolling down. See, this is the thing that I'm used to right here, the GSO Multi-Seeker AI Module, an essential component to be able to assign specific roles for techs in the fleet. I, I guess the other one's an improvement. It does seem like it has a weapon on it, but I've never quite seen that one before. So let's buy one of these. Let's go into our Geo Core, see if they've added anything new here. Okay, so we got our lights. We can we can do without those. Those are really really cool. I like the the ability to have those, but at the same time, uh, not necessarily something. Man, these are expensive. So expensive. Okay, so we're gonna go with something small to start with. We're just gonna go with two, because we do have to buy the wheels still, and we're probably not gonna have enough to buy the wheels, to be honest. Okay, so let's see how much are the wheels gonna be. Yeah, 750 for the cheapest, and uh, we don't want the cheapest. We want. We want the big boys, so we want twelve fifty. We're gonna have to save up money for that. So let's see. Why we have everything here? Where is it? Right over here. Let's double click on it. Take it over. We'll go into build mode, and we'll start attaching this stuff underneath our bot if we can. Why won't it go underneath? Uh, you don't want it to go underneath, huh? I, I don't really care what you want. <laughs> I want it to go underneath. And I want it, like, not really like that either. I'd re I prefer it to be kind of centered. Uh-huh. You don't want to do what I want you to do. How about, can we move? Yeah, okay, we can move the main piece. Okay, so we want you somewhere in the center so we can protect you as much as possible. Let's see, we want to go ahead and get some of the... Uh, I guess what we could do is we can dismantle this one so that we take the blocks that we don't necessarily even want on here which is the yellow ones like we, that's a thing we, we do want the big stuff but uh, you know the bot on the top we just don't want these ones on the bottom so let's take these weapons so they don't just pop off and, and disappear on us not that anything really disappears in this game get rid of these little things please come on I, I want to see what I'm doing <laughs> it's kind of annoying to have that there I can't see anything Okay, so let's put these here. Jeez, come on. I get it. I get it. We have player tech. Can I Can I see? Oh, let's see. Let's put these up here. The, I bet you there's a, an option that I can turn that stuff off on that I'll definitely have to look at in between this video and the next one because that is just ridiculous on how annoying that can be at times. So let's see. Can we throw these up here on top? Yes, we can. These uh, are the... Uh, the generators that will take resources and actually convert them into uh, energy, which is, uh, come on, seriously? That's that's not what I tried to do. Uh, you guys are, are ridiculous. Okay, so that, jeez, uh, okay, we're going to have to move these far, far away so we can actually, you know, see what we're doing, because apparently it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't care if we have a bot here as long as there's a base piece underneath us. Yeah, uh-huh, I get it. It's an object. 
you can start popping up let's see we can put this over here so we can have a well we don't have any have actually have any power so that's that's not going to do anything for for a while right now let's see we're going to put that down and then we're going to i actually don't want these drills but they're really expensive i think that's why i picked them up so i could sell them and i just haven't sold them yet so let's three three wide or four wide let's go four wide actually because that's going to give us more room and i want to see what these bad boys are capable of doing not only those bad boys but i want to see what the uh, the big big guy is capable of doing right here and he's going to take up a lot of space i don't know if he'll fire over the guys in the front i'm guessing he might be able to because he's so big but we'll definitely find that out here and again guys if you've experimented with this guy before in the past like many of you have uh, told me you have and then uh you know let me know what you found out let me know if you liked how he was uh, i know some of you guys have said that uh you know i definitely should get one as soon as possible because it's going to change the game for me but now that you've had time to kind of play around with it and get a good feel for it do you feel that it's overpowered do you feel that uh it's it's spot on like what's your feelings on these weapons uh, if you've used them at all if you haven't used them i know you're probably going to be just as excited to see how they work as I am because I am just uh, I'm stoked guys I am you know I anytime I can find a new bo uh, bot or not bot anytime I can find a new block that I've not used before you know I am I am constantly amazed at just how wonderful uh, the experience usually is not always though some of the some of the pieces you will get I hate to say it are just completely worthless at least for my play style you know maybe for some people out there watching you're like no no that piece was really good and it changed the way i played the game that would be fantastic if i could say that but some of these other ones uh, not so much batteries definitely are uh, something that changes the game for you but yeah some of the other stuff is just uh, it's not quite there yet so let's see we're gonna put some weapons over there just so that we can have a little bit of extra firepower and we're also going to need some batteries i do apologize for the noise this is probably the, the worst location for you guys because it's just that constant hum of of the uh, batteries being charged up as they get further and further away that that hum kind of goes away so we might have to do that let's also put this little guy up here i'm kind of curious to let this guy just go off and, and roam free and and see what he does on his own now that we got that extra little piece and i'm wondering where that came from to be honest guys because i know for sure that i did not find that from any any bot that i can remember and if i can't remember it and, and we got it uh, that seems a little unusual because you know like with these pieces I am very much yeah, very much paying attention to the new stuff okay let's see we're gonna move this guy over here into the center holy crap it's taken off on its own did you see that he was actually moving not necessarily moving in the right direction the other ones will move too uh, and and as you can see over here all these other bots they do have AI modules on them and they kind of all want to sit in this one spot and I don't know do nothing basically so it, that's kind of weird there but let's fire holy crap look at that look at that guys look how much is pushing us back look how heavy the and it is firing over those oh my god that's beautiful that is beautiful okay we need batteries we need batteries now because we are going out we're going out on the town here um can we buy them? I don't think we can. I don't think we have enough money to buy batteries, do we? It's going to be one of those things, isn't it? 98? Oh, we can buy plenty. What are we talking about? Those things are super cheap, apparently. Okay, give it a few seconds because you don't want to click it too fast. Otherwise, your purchase may not come through. Make sure you look in the background. Make sure your item is actually showing up before you click it again because that is a thing. These things will disappear on you and or not even show up, and you'll just be wasting your money, which really, really sucks. Okay, so let's put this thing down. Uh, we will have to charge these up, but that shouldn't take too long with as many as these things uh, floating around. Now, let's see. What can we put over here? Um, we need what? What is this? A shield generator or a repair bubble? Okay, so we need a shield generator, and we only have 100 bucks. Well, we have a few extras over here that I'm going to throw on. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to continue messing around with this bot. Uh, make sure that it's uh, up to a par before we take it out and uh, you know see if we can find an enemy on the next one that we can just completely and totally annihilate again guys i want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe 
definitely helps grow the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave those comments down below on the, the topics that we've kind of talked about. I would love to hear your, uh, your opinions on the subjects as well as with these new weapons. Are you guys excited to see what they can do or are you uh, not so much at this point? I would uh, you know, greatly appreciate that. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.